Now they have to prove that these aren't extraterrestrial. And they also move without creating an exhaust or breaking the sound barrier. They didn't specify what other was, but you can fill in the dots yourself. The last time an object like this came toward the sun, it took a deadly turn and wiped out the dinosaurs. But this time, it's even bigger, four times bigger. And now, a new visitor from deep space, 3i slash A-T-L-A-S, is racing through our solar system. It's not just massive, it's fast, unpredictable, and eerily familiar. When world-renowned physicist Michio Kaku saw the data, he was shaken to tears. Why? Because he's seen this story before. But this time, it's playing out with humanity watching. And if this object changes course, Earth could be in its path. This isn't science fiction, it's happening now. When the sky brought fire. 66 million years ago, something came from the sky and ended almost everything on Earth. It was a rock just 10 kilometers wide, but it hit with such force that it unleashed global wildfires, blocked out the sun, and triggered an extinction-level winter. The dinosaurs never saw it coming. That asteroid, scientists later learned, came toward the sun first. It curved inward like any ordinary object, until it veered off course and struck Earth. Now, scientists are seeing something eerily similar. On July 1st, telescopes detected a massive new object, moving fast, coming from deep space, and heading toward the sun. It's called 3i slash A-T-L-A-S. And it's not 10 kilometers wide, it's nearly 20 kilometers across, twice as wide, four times the volume. When physicist Michio Kaku was shown the early data, his reaction was visible. He broke into tears because he knows what happens when objects like this take a wrong turn. 3i slash A-T-L-A-S is moving at over 150,000 miles per hour. It's not looping around the sun like most solar system objects. It's cutting through on a nearly straight line. That tells scientists something huge. It's not from here. It's an interstellar object, like Oumuamua and Borisov before it, but far more massive and much more energetic. And just like that ancient killer, it's coming from the sun's direction. Kaku warned in an emotional interview, we may be watching a cosmic echo, a pattern repeating itself. The last time, it ended a world. This time, we might have the chance to stop it, or at least understand it. He called it a test of our generation. And as 3i slash A-T-L-A-S approaches the sun, just like that fateful rock millions of years ago, everyone is asking the same question. Will it change course? Kaku's warning. This might not be just a comet. There's something strange about the way 3i slash A-T-L-A-S is moving. Not just fast, too fast. Not just from far away, from a direction few interstellar objects come from the dense, chaotic heart of our galaxy. Michio Kaku, a physicist who's spent his life explaining space to the world, sees this object differently. It's not just a comet or a rock, he says. It's a riddle, and maybe a warning. Unlike other comets, which tumble, shed dust randomly, and spin off center, 3i slash A-T-L-A-S is flying almost like a guided missile. Its path is straight, its outgassing pattern, where gases escape its surface, isn't typical. It's uneven, directional, even rhythmic in a way. Kaku explained, natural comets behave like broken ice balls. They're messy. This one feels clean, calculated. Something about it doesn't add up. And here's where it gets eerie. The object is expected to pass behind the sun later this year. During that window, when it's out of view, we won't be able to track it. For several weeks, we'll be flying blind. If anything changes its course during that time, we won't see it until it's too late. That's why Kaku is worried. He remembers Oumuamua, how it changed speed slightly with no visible force acting on it. Some scientists even suggested it might have been artificial. But 3i slash A-T-L-A-S makes Oumuamua look like a pebble. Whatever this is, Kaku said, it's bigger, bolder, and it's entering our system with a purpose. Whether that purpose is natural or not, we don't know. And it's not just size, it's behavior, direction speed. If this were just a comet, he added, I wouldn't be crying. That statement shook the room. Because when someone like Michio Kaku cries, it's not out of fear. It's because he knows something others don't. And this time, he says, the stakes are cosmic. A dangerous curve. At first glance, 
3i slash ATLAS seems to be on a safe path. It's expected to pass about 167 million miles from Earth this December. That sounds far, but here's the truth. It might not stay that way. The problem lies in its interaction with the sun. As 3i slash ATLAS moves inward, it's already starting to heat up. And when comets get hot, they release gas, fast, forceful bursts of vapor that act like tiny rockets. This process, called outgassing, can push the comet slightly in one direction or another. For a normal comet, that shift is minor, but 3i slash ATLAS is huge and fast, 20 kilometers wide and moving at 68 kilometers per second. A tiny nudge from outgassing or solar radiation could dramatically alter its course. Michio Kaku emphasized this risk with a calm but haunting warning. The margin of error is razor thin. It doesn't take much for something so massive to shift, and the results could be catastrophic. The asteroid that hit Earth 66 million years ago came from a similar trajectory, falling inward toward the Sun before being pulled into Earth's path. At first, it wasn't even aimed at Earth, but it turned. Kaku points to that pattern. Objects heading toward the Sun often appear harmless until they're not. Right now, 3i slash ATLAS is too far to fully predict what its tail of gases will do as it heats up. Some simulations show minor changes, others show it veering millions of miles off course. That's the real fear, and because it will soon pass behind the Sun, we'll have a gap in data just as its orbit could begin to shift. That blind spot, that silence, could be the most dangerous part of all. Alone, or the first of many. Another reason Michio Kaku is emotional about this discovery. What if 3i slash ATLAS isn't alone? In recent years, we've suddenly spotted three interstellar objects after never seeing one before. That shift is shocking. It raises the question, what changed? Were these objects always flying past unnoticed? Or have they just started arriving? Kaku believes this could be part of something bigger. He compares it to seeing one raindrop before a storm. You don't worry when you see one. You worry when you see a pattern, he said. Some astronomers are now digging through old telescope data, looking for faint signs of other hyperfast objects. And a few have found strange signals, tiny points of light moving too quickly, too straight, or vanishing too soon. What if 3i slash ATLAS is the first visible piece of a larger swarm? A network of silent travelers drifting through star systems? Or worse, what if it's the first wave of something sent intentionally? Kaku doesn't make wild claims, but he has said clearly, the idea of this being a one-time event doesn't feel right. There are whispers now in observatories around the world. Are these natural messengers from broken planetary systems? Or are they scouts? If this one moves differently, or if another follows, it could change everything we know about our place in the universe. Because for the first time, we're not just seeing rocks in space. We're seeing movement, pattern, direction, and possibly intention. Kaku's final plea. As the world watches 3 I slash ATLAS close in on the sun, Michio Kaku's message has become more urgent. In a recent interview, voice cracking, he said, this is not a time for silence. This is a time for clarity. He's called on space agencies to prioritize full spectrum tracking of 3i slash ATLAS, not just for science, but for planetary defense. Because right now, if this object shifted course and aimed at Earth, we would not be able to stop it. DART, NASA's asteroid deflection mission, showed we can nudge small rocks traveling at slow speeds. But this, 3i slash ATLAS, is bigger, faster, and from beyond our system. It's not a rock we can push. It's a force we can only observe. Kaku doesn't want panic. He wants preparation. He says the emotional weight comes from what this comet represents. Not just danger, but a reminder that we live on a small blue world, floating in a cosmic shooting gallery and we're only beginning to understand the rules of the game. We are smart enough to build telescopes, he said. Now we need to be wise enough to act on what we see. For him, this isn't just about one object. It's about what happens after it passes. Will we forget? Or will we start taking cosmic threats seriously? 
because if 3IATLAS turns or breaks apart or slows down, we will know we were warned. And this time, we were watching. The Blind Spot There's one moment scientists are dreading more than any other. Early December. That's when 3I slash ATLAS will pass behind the sun. From our perspective on Earth. During this time, telescopes won't be able to see it. Signals will be blocked. Radar will be useless. The object will enter a window of silence. It's called solar conjunction. And it happens when an object lines up behind the sun. Usually this isn't a problem. But when the object in question is moving at over 150,000 miles per hour and could shift direction with little warning, that silence becomes terrifying. Michio Kaku calls it the cosmic blink, a period where, for a few weeks, humanity will be flying blind. If the object changes speed, direction, or even starts breaking apart, we won't know until it's already too close. Kaku explains, the comet is like a fast car heading toward an intersection, but we'll lose the camera feed right before it reaches the turn. When the feed comes back, it could be in a completely different lane. And worse, if it turns toward Earth during that gap, our window for response will shrink, possibly to weeks, maybe days. This isn't science fiction, it's orbital mechanics. Real, predictable, and dangerous. What comes after that solar conjunction could decide whether this story ends in relief or disaster. Beyond Science Fiction if this were a movie, the object would arrive, slow down, and reveal a hidden ship, or send a signal, or unleash something unexpected. But this isn't a movie, and that might be the scariest part. 3i slash ATLAS is moving like a natural object, mostly. But some of its features defy easy explanation. It's shedding material far from the sun. Its path is too perfect, and its point of origin, from the galaxy's core, is deeply unusual. Michio Kaku has said this is the moment where science meets mystery. We don't know if it's just a comet or something more, but it's forcing humanity to confront an uncomfortable truth. We are being observed by the universe, whether we like it or not. This object might be a relic from another star system, a message from the past, a cosmic wanderer kicked out of its home by some ancient catastrophe. Or it might be something engineered, something that travels from system to system, something built to watch, record, or test. Kaku doesn't jump to conclusions, but he reminds us, Umuamua didn't act like a normal object, and neither does this. He warns, if this is just the beginning, if more like this follow, we will have to rethink everything, our defenses, our place in the galaxy, and maybe who we think is watching us. The last message. As 3i slash ATLAS races through the solar system, Michio Kaku's voice has become one of both warning and wonder. He says he cried not just out of fear, but out of awe. Astronomy shows us how big the universe is, but every once in a while, it reminds us how small we are. This object might pass by quietly. It might vanish into the dark, leaving only data behind. Or it might leave a scar, a memory of what came close and could have ended everything. Either way, it has already changed us. People are watching the skies again, asking questions they haven't asked in years. Governments are paying attention. Scientists are working around the clock because 3i slash ATLAS isn't just another comet. It's a wake-up call. And Michio Kaku's final words in his broadcast say it all. We can no longer wait to act after the impact. We must be ready before the sky changes again.